I'm here with Magnus Greco, CEO of Opus Group, who are today taking the step from First North to Nasdaq Comex main market. Magnus, uh, why now? Uh, we entered into the First North market uh, 2006, and since then the company have had a fantastic uh, growth. And uh, I think that uh, the last two years we've become another type of company, and the size has grown considerably. So I think it's the right timing now to enter the main market and uh, also in, in order to, to attract another type of investors to join us on our, our road to success. What have you as a company learned during your time with uh, First North? I think it has been a very good school for us because uh, there is a lot of, of uh, things uh, in a reg to be in on a regu regulated market. There is a lot of rules and there is a lot of uh, things that your company has to be prepared to, to deliver and, and uh, live up to. And I think this has been a, a very good uh, school for us because we've been on First North since 2006 and since 2010 we belong to the premier segment of, of First North which uh, is very close to the demands on, on the main market. So I think it's been a, been a natural development for the company uh, to sort of uh, live up to the criteria uh, being on a regulated marketplace. So we've talked a bit about your listing. Could you tell us more about your core business? Yeah, the core business of the company is uh, doing uh, safety and environmental test of vehicles. And, and uh, we started off as a, as a pure equipment company, which today is a division only 50% of the company. So 85% of the company is today doing vehicle inspection. And, and uh, so we, we check the uh, environmental uh, um, part of the car as well as if the car is safe to drive on the road. So we actually help uh, countries and governments to uh, keep the vehicle fleet in a good stand, basically. What's the uh, main driver for growth? Uh, I mean, vehicle inspection is a, a market that has been traditionally um, existing in, in the developed countries. And you can say in Europe, uh, I think we were quite early, uh, mid-60s, uh, uh, to, to start uh, vehicle inspection. Um, but in many other parts of the world, uh, vehicle inspection doesn't exist. And if you look at the, the uh, let's say, emerging markets or, or basically the whole south part of the globe, there's a lot of countries that have, a, have had a significant growth in, in, the, in the last 20, 15 to 20 years. And the economy has improved and so on. So after people have food on the table and roof over their head, they want a car. So they import then uh, old cars, that, so we don't scrap as much cars as we used to do in the developed countries, but we export them to, to, to the emerging markets. And this, uh, of course, because these cars are old, uh, they have a, a lot of effect on the environment and uh, on road safety. So this is a big issue, and, and uh, uh, we help governments uh, to, to solve this problem. It's not the total solution, uh, but it's a very important uh, piece of the cake in, in order to improve uh, road safety and the environment in these countries. And looking towards the future, what, uh, what kind of company will Opus Group be in, say, uh, three years? Opus Group is a growth company that is uh, sort of uh, taking part in, in a growing market, a global trend. And, and we have had a fantastic growth the last uh, uh, three years. But uh, uh, I believe we're going to continue that, that growth path. So I wouldn't be surprised if we are significantly larger in a couple of years from now. Uh, we have traditionally grown both uh, via uh, organic wins of new contracts and so on, as well as, as acquisitions. So I think we'll continue that road. And uh, I look forward now to invite new investors on board on our journey to the future. Thank you, Magnus Greco, CEO of Opus Group. Thank you very much.